If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. Welcome to the Morning Swim Show for Monday, November 11th, 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. Megan Hawthorne will join us shortly in the Finise Monitor. She's a senior at the University of Southern California, and next month she'll wear a USA cap representing the United States at the duel in the pool in Scotland. Let's bring in Megan Hawthorne now from Los Angeles. Megan, it's good to see you again. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Thank you for having me. Our pleasure. Our pleasure. So it's senior year. It's amazing how time flies. I know. It's crazy. It goes by fast. <laughs> well, you're one of six seniors on the, the USC women's team. What's it like being part of that group? Oh, it's phenomenal. The girls, I mean, we've grown from little freshmen to big, bad seniors, and it's so exciting. And we're all just, you know, it's we're just enjoying every last moment of it and really watching as our team begins to grow and everything, and it's great. There's a lot of freshmen and sophomores on this team. I guess next year it's, it's going to really be interesting to see how they – kind of step up into being being the leaders of the team once you guys are gone. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they are great leaders, though. I mean, the pheno they're phenomenal girls, and I'm so proud of them. And I, I have full faith that they'll take care of the team and do great things. So. Well, I talked to you this time last year on the Morning Swim Show, and we talked about that great meet that you had at the SMU Classic. <laughs> your times isn't your, at, this year at the meet weren't that impressive, and the whole time I just kept thinking, I hope she's training through this meet and nothing's wrong. <laughs> Was that the case? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. I mean, we went in, Dave told us no suits, and we did no suits, and, you know, um, we were just trained right through it. But, you know, the thing is, is, like, it was a great meet for us, and we have to keep that in mind. We were not rested. We weren't in suits, but we really gave a good fight, and, you know, we came out on top, which we're really, really proud of. So it was a pretty good beat. So Yeah, I would say so, being able to beat teams like Louisville, Indiana, and not, not going in there with any kind of rest must make you guys feel good about how everything's progressing this season. Yeah, we're feeling really good, um, you know, just we're really excited for, you know, December and our uh, text invite and everything, and I think us girls will put up some pretty good times. So we just got to keep on training hard, and Dave's pushing us in the pool and all the coaches, too, and it's we're doing pretty well, so it'll be fun. Well, that Texas invite, always a good meet for the USA, USC women's team, but looking further ahead a couple weeks later, you got the duel in the pool, and that's no joking matter. I mean, that's yeah. all, I mean, you're... You've got national pride on the line in that meet. I mean, not to put <laughs> yeah. any pressure on you or anything. <laughs> yeah. No pressure. No, it'll be fun. I'm really, really excited. Kendall Stewart's coming along with me. So I'll have her there, and we get to experience this moment together. And, you know, just to be able, once again, to represent Team USA is a phenomenal opportunity. So I'm really, really excited. Do you know what you'll be swimming at the meet? I actually don't. So I'm guessing probably some 400 I am in there. But we'll see. I mean, like, I hope um, I get to some other events, too. But 400 I am probably. But... We'll see about the other events, so I'm excited, though. Well, I don't think they're going to have you fly all the way over there just for one 400 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, it, you know, this it's set up like a dual meet format, and, I, you know, I guess it's going to be just like any dual meet. You wake up the day, and you have a meeting with the team, and Coach Dave says, okay, you're going to be swimming these events. <laughs> yep, exactly. It'll be just like that, so I'm really excited for that portion. <laughs> Except you'll be a little more rested. This time. Yeah, probably just a little bit more rested, <laughs> and in a suit, so it'll be fun. <laughs> Um, have you ever been to Scotland before? No, I haven't. You know, I just, I mean, my recent international trip, I went to Russia, and that was the first, like, real big trip I've taken. So Scotland, it, it'll be an experience. I'm really excited. You know, a lot of my family is from Scotland, so get to experience that portion. <laughs> and when you talk about going to Russia, you're talking about the World University Games that you were just oh, at. Yeah, <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, so tell us what it was like to go to the World University Games and, and be a part of a, a group of swimmers who were all in college so you all had kind of you're all about the same age all had the same kind of goals in mind what was that experience like for you oh my god it was so much fun i mean like you said you know being able there to be there with like college students so people your age and you know they're going through the same things and it's it's different seeing them in an environment where we're all competing for on one team because usually you see people and they're on like different you know going to different colleges and whatnot so it was really really great to meet these people and you know once again represent team usa it was an incredible feeling so it was 
an amazing experience. I'm definitely never going to forget, you know, the memories that we made there. So it's really awesome, <laughs> awesome well, time. Well, I'm sure once you get back from Scotland, everyone's going to, everybody is going to want a Christmas gift from you. So you got to make sure you go <laughs> do plenty of shopping in Glasgow. Yeah, I better do that. <laughs> I guess, you know, you won't have, you won't be able to win any money from this meet because you're still in college. But, you know, I'm sure just take some good spending money and bring back something uniquely Scottish. Yes, that's what I'm planning on doing, hopefully. <laughs> well, uh, what I asked you this last year, and you kind of said it was up in the air, but do you, have you made any more concrete plans of what you're going to do once NCAAs is over in March and your collegiate career is over? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I've been thinking about it a lot lately because it's, you know, coming down to that time. And, you know, with what I went through last year, I had a little bump in the road with a little shoulder injury and all of that. You know, it was really tough, but I think I pulled through. But you know, at the end, you know, my body's starting to go and, you know, it's starting to hurt. But, you know, you know, I do have other plans and I'm really, you know, school is a big thing. I would love to go to grad school and, you know, work towards getting my school psychology degree and all working towards that and becoming a teacher, hopefully. And that would require a lot of my time. So swimming might, you know, take a backseat. But, you know, things are still up in the air. You know, I don't want to don't want to say I'm not going to swim ever again after NCAAs, but, you know. It's uh, sad to say, but it could possibly happen. So we'll see, though. <laughs> well, never say never. Anything yeah, could happen. I mean, you, exactly. might, you might go 357 in the 400 IM in NCAAs and be like, well, let's <laughs> like, give this long course a little try here. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> but we'll see. You know, I, I don't want to end my swimming career. I would never want to end. I love it so much. It's my passion. But, you know, it's, you know, there comes a time when it has to come to an end, and I don't know when that's going to be. <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> Well, I don't want to end this interview without giving submitting you to the final five, Megan. These are five questions we got for you to kind of understand you a little bit better. First question is, as an IMer, this is right up your alley. If you could change the order of strokes in the individual medley, how would you change it? Oh, goodness. How would I change it? Ooh. I like the order it's in now, but maybe to just change it up, I'd probably go back and I would go probably just like the medley order, so back, breast, fly, free. That would probably make it really tough because the fly would be closer to the end. But, hey, you know, why not? That would be fun. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Um, what's an exciting career you think you'd most like to try? Exciting career. Ooh, probably acting. Who wouldn't want to try acting? Come on, it's great. You get to, like, be a different person and take on a different persona for it like a little bit of time, so I'd probably do that. <laughs> okay, well, you definitely got the personality for it, I gotta oh, say good. that. <laughs> All right, and on the other side of that, what's a career you would not like to try? Oh, not like to try. Oh, goodness. Probably something that's really dangerous. I don't know, there's some daredevil people out there that are pretty crazy, <laughs> so something like that. I like to watch it on TV, but I couldn't do that stuff. It's crazy. So some sort of daredevil job would be freaky. Well, maybe <laughs> not, not my be alley a, type stuff. <laughs> maybe not be a stunt woman in, in the film. Business. Yeah, probably not that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you could change or add any rule in the swimming rule book, what would it be? Oh, I think we should have an event that could go, or I mean all events. I wish we could go past the 15 meter mark. I think that would be really fun if we could have an event, though, like tours just like, a 50 meter underwater kick, you know, something like that would be fun. <laughs> okay. Last question, where do you like to go on vacation? Where do I like to go? Ooh, my favorite place in the world is actually where my beach house up is. It's in Carpinteria, California, so it's up near Santa Barbara. It's like, I've been going there since I was a little kid, and it's, like I said, my favorite place in the world, and I love the beach, and it's right on the beach, and I get to spend time with my family there, so that's my favorite. Well, <laughs> sure. you definitely don't want to change that. Yeah. <laughs> well, Megan, thanks so much for joining us. Always great to have you on the show. And uh, good luck the rest of this season. And have safe travels over to Scotland. Oh, thank you so much. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for today's edition of the Morning Swim Show. Be sure to watch any previous episodes of this show and other shows at swimmingworld.tv. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.